Conservation Private Limited. So today we have a project with us. Uh, this project is used to control the devices as well as to send the messages from a PC to a microcontroller board. In this project we have used the MATLAB as a tool. So here it is. So we are using a MATLAB as a software. Here in this software we have two sections with us. So one, the very first section is to control the devices. We have connected four point socket here. So at every socket, every separate socket we can connect a device. So at the very first socket we have connected a charger here. So a 220 volt appliance can be controlled using this project. So in this project uh, in MATLAB section again coming back so we have two sections with us first is to control the device and we have uh, four options with us so device number one device number two device number three and four let me show you the things so I can make one of the four uh, on at a time one of the four off at a time and I can make all of them uh, off at a time so here uh, below the first option box here I have a text box with me where I can put any message and then can click on the send button when I will press the send button the message that I will put there in this text box will be sent to the PC so here in uh, my project I have connected it with the using this com cable I have connected it to the PC so this is now this connection is coming here to the microcontroller board where we have connected a MAX232 chip which will convert the RS232 logic into the TTL one and that TTL signal is provided to the microcontroller board so microcontroller used here is our 889C52 a derivative of uh, 8051 family so here we have an LCD with us to display the various messages and a power supply unit which is providing the power to the whole board to the whole project so we have a transformer here to step down the voltage we have a rectifier circuit with us and here a filtration capacitor is there used to filter the pulsating DC so here we have a regulator to regulate the voltage and an indicator to indicate the presence of uh, the voltage the pure DC voltage so from this regulated power supply all the modules like the very first one the microcontroller board so here the LCD and here we have a driver circuit for the device as we have to operate uh, the 220 volt appliances from this project so we have connected a four relay control board having some optocouplers here which is used to provide the isolation then the power amplification uh, transistors 369 specially used here a PNP based power transistor so output of the power transistors is provided to the relay and uh, relays are then finally controlling the 220 volt AC appliances so these are the main parts of our, uh, our project now I will give you the demonstration of it to start with when I will press the reset button from here so I get the welcome message controller area network that is there in our case you can you can have any name for this project so the main part is the data communication part so from here to here we are coming back to the uh, MATLAB part so from the MATLAB part we have certain uh, sections with us presently you can see that our uh, we have a charger here and on the charger we have an indicator that will tell us whether the charger is working or not charger is operatable at 220 volt so now I will operate it from the MATLAB uh, software so this is my GUI it is connected to the device number one as the charger is connected to the device number one so I have selected it and by pressing the go button so you must have heard this uh, relay triggering voice so here it is now it is presently it is working now if I will make it off if I will make it off I will press it again when I will press it again then the charger will automatically get shut down 
so due to the absence of the 220 volt so now it is off similar to that we can select any device uh, let us take a case I will select device number 4 from here ok now device number 4 is the 4th socket so let me show you the output so I have connected the charger on the 4th socket right now so now uh, no power is there in this board right now but if I will press the go button so when I will press the go button you can see the output you can see that uh, the charger is working right now if I will make it uh, again if I will press the go button then then automatically it will get off due to the capacitance in in uh, this charger the light is taking little time to get off but actually when you heard the triggering voice of the relay that was the time when the power was off so now uh, for the second part of the project that was data reception so we have the lower block here now in this block we can put any message like we have uh, presently we have hi here hi now if i will press send from here so again receiving it on the lcd so here in our project you can see the same message here uh, on the lcd now let us take a case we have uh, one or two other characters so a b is here now uh, let me show you uh, same characters will be received there on the lcd when you will press the send button so this is how all the things are working so my MATLAB is communicating with my microcontroller using the serial communication. So that's it. Thank you.